There are many ways to bring down an authoritarian regime, but there's one experience that remains unique. 25 years ago, Chileans said no to eight more years of rule under General Augusto Pinochet in a referendum. That's the theme of an Oscar-nominated film highlighting the unique publicity campaign that played a major role. The movie, which stars Mexican actor Gael Garcia and many of the original protagonists of the campaign, explores how Pinochet's opponents used a rainbow, a catchy jingle, and the promise of happiness to bring down the 17-year dictatorship. Chile, happiness is on the way. As a successful political communication strategy, applicable everywhere, not just against our brutal dictatorship, it was a huge novelty. It made those who were afraid or undecided go out and vote for change. One of the dancers in the TV spot, Tamara Archa, remembers the threats, the fear they all felt of arrest and worse, as they defied Pinochet, whom they were convinced wouldn't respect the referendum result. We never thought we'd win. It was so difficult in that context to believe that the dictatorship would give up with a referendum. But my heart told me I had to at least try. While the dictatorship bombarded public opinion with threats of Marxist chaos, the No campaign focused on universal goals like hope, democracy, the right to express oneself freely, and tolerance of all ideologies. I don't want somebody make, you know, you know. That, says the film's director, Paolo Larraín, is why the Chilean experience is still valid today. What happened here in this little country, Latin America, 25 years ago, I think it's very contemporary. It's something that is actually going on pretty much everywhere. And so it resonates uh, everywhere we show it. 25 years later, Chile is again in a campaign mode. It's time to choose the next democratic government, but also to reflect on what went wrong after the dictatorship was defeated. The economic model that Chile inherited from General Pinochet has not undergone substantial changes, and now millions of Chileans are demanding reforms to a system in which wealth is accumulated in too few hands. Still, while happiness may not have arrived for all, Chileans are giving thanks for the day when their dictator was given his marching orders without a single shot being fired. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.